You know, did you know that the culture we live in has its own churches? Yeah, that's right. Go down Fifth Avenue or walk up Madison Avenue or walk down one of these streets, you know, and, and you'll look in the store windows and, and you'll see the church saying, come on in, come on in. You know, we weren't, uh, uh, we're not conformed to the image of Versace or Ralph Lauren or an Ann Taylor or Calvin Klein or whoever the latest designer is. We're not being conformed to Nike or Jordan. We're not being conformed to a Diddy or a rap star. That's not what Jesus died for. We're being conformed to the likeness and image of Almighty God. He's trying to place His image in us, His power in us, His attitude in us. You know, it said that Jesus didn't come to, 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 be, a, to, to be served. He came to serve. The first will be last and the last shall be first. It's a question of attitude. What attitude are you adopting? Which identity are you relating to? You know, you want to walk into a bar and have a drink? You know, knock yourself out. Nothing wrong with that. But the point I'm trying to make and God is trying to make to us is that like Paul said, you know, we have to consider it all loss for the excellency of knowing Christ and 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 we have to be able to relate to our sufferings as we relate to the sufferings of Christ and Paul says for somehow that we might attain to the resurrection you know wow Jesus said to the rich long new ruler after you sell everything give it to the poor you'll have treasures in heaven and then he says, then come follow me, then come follow me. After you get rid of all of these things that are holding you back, that might divide your heart. You can't have one, one foot in and one foot out. If you want full prosperity, you need to be undivided, an undivided heart. And I'm praying that the Lord gives you grace because the Lord is able to make all grace abound to you so that in all things, in all times, you'll have everything that you need. To come. You know, just take it as a given. Whatever Jesus says, just bank on it. Because if you do what he says, it will bring you to peace, love, grace, and an abundant life. Let us be like Mary who said to the angel, listen, let it be done unto me as you have said. And then you know what? Our burdens will be lifted. Our yoke will be easy. Our burdens will be light. And you will have great power. May God richly bless you this day. Have a great one.